daughter is so distraught. She's refusing to leave her rooms. So exciting. Scandalous. No doubt Isabel is beside herself. Poor girls. Ha. Huh. What brings you to our tourney grounds here at Castle no. Gear? Oh, never mind that. Have you heard the latest? The Knight Commander has offered her daughter's hand in marriage to the Sapphire Tourney winner. Everyone's a gas. Toivottavasti jotain muutakin käsi pelkästään. Well, Aurelia has been the most desirable hand on High Isle for years, but no one thought she'd ever commit to a match. Seems the Commander has forced the issue. Oh no, that would be a slap in the face to her mother. And Aurelia is such a good girl. More scandal. Her friend Isabel is a participant in the tourney. She's sworn to free Aurelia from her mother's promise. I can't wait to find out what happens. Uh huh. If you help Isabel win the tournament, she could agree to marry Aurelia, then free her from the shortest engagement in history. Delicious! Yep. Kulosta Britarin tehtävältä. What? Tää <laughs> Karle Hen Henrik, uh, mun hahmoni, niin se on Tipellan ritari tunteen puolesta. Sweetheart, I'll figure something out. I always do. I'm sorry, this isn't the best time. My friend Aurelia has a bit of a problem. Her mother has promised her hand in marriage, and I need to get her out of it. Somehow. Hmm. Actually, you look quite capable. Would you mind lending me a hand? Apologies. My name is Isabel Valois. I'm an aspirant in the Sapphire Tourney. A proving ground for squires looking to join the knightly orders. Uh -huh. Aurelia's mother is knight commander, and um, brashly offered her daughter's hand as a prize. Well, normally aspirants only compete in one of the trials. If I can win all three, the knight commander will be compelled to grant a boon of my choosing. I can free Aurelia from her mother's promise. What do you say? Will you be my second? The eight must have me in their hearts. My second just left my service, and here I was thinking I'd have to do it alone. All right, there are three knightly orders here on the aisle. Let's decide what task to tackle first. The people of the sisters take pride in our knights, the same as anywhere in High Rock. The Sapphire Tourney hosts three orders, the Iron Knot, the Oaken Order, and the Order of the Albatross. They're martial warriors and excellent a horse. You might say the Iron Knot is the most traditional of the Sapphire Orders. Our trial will be to find the hilt from a lost sword called Red Heart. It was the blade of the first Duke Dufort. Somewhere on these lands, before they belonged to the Duforts, the hilt supposedly had a massive rough-cut ruby in it. Should be easy to spot. My last squire, Burjo, suggested we hit the castle library to get an idea of where to start looking. Eight above, help me. They're artists and sailors, singers, bards, and pirates all. Brave, swashbuckling warriors that make you recite poetry. Ghastly stuff. <laughs> uh, Vapaana No, thankfully. Our trial will be to reclaim the gilded loot of Captain Brenvale. The story goes that he went down into the castle crypts years ago, hoping to use song and steel to subdue a spirit. He never returned. Kun nämä kaikki Oaken etsintä tehtäviä. Oaken knights tend to be battle mages, conjurers and support spellcasters. Their power stems from High Isle's strong tradition of druidic magic. Our trial will be to convince an elder to give us a staff, a symbol of their order. I'm guessing it won't be that straightforward, but who knows? There's a way shrine near the Coral River to the east. I'll meet you there and we can make for the site of the trial. The eight must have me. The people of the sisters take pride in our knights, the same as anywhere in High Rock. The Sapphire. They're martial warriors. Somewhere on these lands, before they belonged to the Dufour. Let's meet up at the castle library in the Knights Wing. 
I've spent many an hour there studying up on monsters, history, and healing. My only complaint is there aren't a lot of novels. Ei edes investigator veil novelle. Of course, Drake. I'm sorry. I bet I came on a little strong. I've spent months preparing for the tourney, and now the commander's pronouncement has sent me adrift. I'll be all right. What would you like to know? <laughs> sorry, it's a curse I picked up from my dad. A word from the old druid tongue that's been co-opted for common folk. I sort of grew up here at the castle, and it's a little more acceptable than the curses the dockhands use, so I use it. Aurelia and I grew up together. We've been close since we were very young, and well, I can't stand the thought of her marrying one of the other aspirants, especially Morton's. My goodness, what a dreary man! Nope, the tourney is only called every few years, as schedule and aspirants allow. The commander wants to make sure there are enough people in the mix to make it a challenge, and the orders are only so large on High Isle, as you might imagine. I'm not sure how Tam's folk tourneys work, but here each order sets a challenge. Attempting the challenge for an order marks you in good standing, and each order only chooses one or two aspirants for knighthood. It's fairly competitive as a result. I'm not a knight just yet. That's why I'm in the tourney. I was a squire for years before I came an aspirant. You don't want to know how many stalls I've cleaned. Eh. The tourney gives me a chance to prove my worth to the orders. You see. That's a handsome question. I wish I had an answer for you. I can see ways that I'd be a good fit for either the Oaken Order or the Iron Knot. Maybe even the Order of the Albatross. That's a problem for Day's End, Isabel. To face. <laughs> Go on. I'll catch up with you at the castle's library. It's easy to find. Big room. Full of books. Can't miss it. You're going to help us. Oh, the eight bless you. I am going to have one more go at convincing my mother, excuse me, the knight commander, to see reason. Making a promise like that for me? What was she thinking? Have you seen the other aspirants? Ugh, Langley is a bore. Brelinol cares only for coin, and Snag is an oaf. And then there's the milksop moribund Mortons. The less said about him, the better. That's a complicated question. The easy response is that Commander Jorvel never goes back on her word, but it's more than that. The tourney means the world to her, and in recent years, we've had fewer entrants. Uh, no, no, she, she, she just wants me to be happy. It's expected of noble ladies on High Isle to marry for advantage. Advantage to the ladies, mind. She thinks I'm afraid to take that step and wanted to give me, well. A push. <laughs> Ei kovinkaan lempeä työntö. Sir Ulvenpeck. Mutta kiva kun nää nykyään nää NPCt pystyy kans ratsastamaan. Greetings. Have you come to participate, or are you a valued spectator? Either way, welcome and welcome again. The Sapphire Tourney is underway, of course. Duchess Dufort and Knight Commander Jorvel have entrusted me with the very important role of overseeing the festivities. More than you can count with two hands. We have a whole troop of performers, several cookmasters preparing different delicacies from across the seas. And it would hardly be a proper tourney without the joust, now would it? The understatement of the year. Kuka monta kuolee vuosittain? When this tourney is completed and the grounds restored and the staff paid, we start planning all over again. The next one is just a few years away, you know. I love my job. He wasn't just the type of man who was just a little turvallista. The Duchess herself asked me to organize and execute this tremendously popular affair. I mean. Who else could do it? I'm a man of many connections. I've managed tourneys, fairs, banquets, investitures, weddings, and, of course, funerals. Let's take a count and raise a glass to our merry band. The 
albatross that sails the waves while iron sallies forth. The oak and knights know ancient ways. Now, quick, where is my horse? Hello. If you're looking for the knight commander, the office is just down the hall. Edelleenkin saa niinku taitopisteitä näistä kirjoista, niin... I found something about crop rotation. Exciting. Tin siellä Ranserin sota. Find anything promising? Let's chat. The book was already open. I bet my old second Virgo offered the same advice he gave me to aspirant Langley. Drake! Let's see. You're right. Looks like the Duforts had a hold fast there, before they became nobles. Oh, wait! I know this place. It's an old ruin off to the east. Aurelia and I used to pretend it was a witch's lair when we were young. Well, in my defense, I didn't know it was owned by the Duforts when we played there as kids. We also didn't go looking for knightly relics, which now I wish we had. There aren't really roads back there, but I remember a nice wide path we can take. I'll mark your map. Maybe if we hurry, we can beat Virgo and Langley to the ruin. I'll see you there. I'm hoping we can beat the other aspirants to the hilt. Each of the captains have their own view on how to earn honor. I've heard stories that the Iron Knot's captain, Orlfeth, has slain trolls twice her size. So just swinging a sword won't impress her. She wants warriors that can think as well as fight. <laughs> That's a funny thought. I don't think so, but we can ask her. The hilt itself is classic Iron Knot. A historic trophy from a mighty warrior who fell in single combat at a crucial battle and changed history with his blade. Madame Belois, you're too late. I'm here first, you cannot pass me. Uh, I guess what he said. Sorry, Isabel. Ah, Petturi. It's not worth a row with Langley over who can search the woods first. I'd best him easily, don't get me wrong. But blatant fighting between aspirants is frowned upon. Doesn't matter. I have an idea. Langley's first and last thoughts every day are about himself. He'll have Burjo working on moving those trees. Well, until he gets bored. So let's just go around. Remember, Aurelia and I used to play up by the ruin. There's a path around the rise to the east. Let's go carefully, though. We stopped playing up there when a fawn warband moved in. <laughs> Here it is. 
just like I remembered by the curved tree. The ruin should be at the top of the rise. Reaching in there like that. Tullaan noita... Templarin, Templarin joo, taitoja. Iso pelillä. This is it. The old stones, the locals call it. Let's find that hill. Don't mess with a street kid. Something good in there. Might be nothing. No. Never know unless you check. Let's get out of here before Langley and Virgil arrive. Ah, careful there, Squire. Don't let the branches snap back. You've scratched my armor. <laughs> that group must be around here somewhere. Get to work. Yeah. I'm not sure it's chivalrous of me, but I hope that ours wastes the rest of the day looking for that hilt. We did it! Redheart's hilt! As a knight aspirant, I know I should wish all of my competitors equally good luck. But Stendar, forgive me. I hope Langley gets bitten by every mosquito out here. I am. I assumed the Iron Knot trial would be all about swordplay and martial skill. Maybe horse riding. Horses and I don't like each other much. Anyway, I'm actually quite pleased how we did. Let's move on. Eight above, help me. They're artists. No, thankfully. Our trial will be to reclaim the gilded loot of Captain Brenvale. We can meet up at the Nabir Chapel. The entrance to the catacombs is in there. Catacombia. They give me strength. Of all the sneaky, dishonest... Yeah, jotain on taas taas sattunut. We've got a small hitch in this rope. The key to the catacombs entrance is usually right near the door. But someone took it. Drake, I hope not. The idea of aspirants trying to directly sabotage each other doesn't sit well with me. And I see that look in your eye. No lockpicking. Mixy. Fuck my plate. We still need that key. Yes, let's split up. I'll go speak to the castle stewards, and you head for the offices of the Knight Commander. We can meet back here. Stand our willing, one of us will have some luck. I still can't believe someone took the key. So childish. I bet it's Mortons. Mortons. I mean, they're not real pirates. They're knights who ride the waves instead of horses. And sing. By the gods do they sing. There's an old joke around the castle that they're called the Order of the Albatross because they're so damned loud. <laughs> yes, a golden loot. The story goes that some years back, the head of the Order, Sir Brenvale, went down to clear the catacombs of a mad spirit. I think it was some Dufort noble? I I'm not sure who. But Sir Brenvale never returned. I'll be honest, this is one order I'm not likely to join. They're an odd group. But it kind of makes sense. Just think of them as something like chivalric bards. They're constantly on the hunt for new adventures, new tales to tell. <laughs> Oh, mother, 
How could you do this to me? <laughs> Thank you for assisting Isabel. I'm so grateful to you both. Siren Mortens came by not that long ago and told me he already had a honeymoon trip planned. The audacity! I'm trying to muster up the courage. We've been fighting quite a bit. I made Isabel promise not to say anything. I didn't want her jeopardizing her place in the tourney. You must be new to High Isle. My mother is Dame Jorvel, Knight Commander. She has never, in all her illustrious career, gone back on her word. Not once. She offered my hand in marriage, and by the gods, her honor means she won't unoffer it. Apparently not. And here I am, working up the nerve. Mostly pacing. I know Isabel can win the tourney, but I just can't sit idly by either. Ugh. Oh, one of the other knights probably took it or hit it. Cheating! Isabel will not like that. Hmm, one of my mother's aides might have one. Good she sent you to ask, though. Best she avoids the night's wing for now. She and I have been friends since we were very young. Knowing Izzy, she'll want to avoid even rumors she appealed to my mother for help. I'd start by asking Dame Hendra. Nilsman might have a key as well. Vaan kyselemään niinku avoimien perään. Vanha, vanhoja kirjoja löytyy. Kaikki, kaikki ei ole uusia siis tässä DLCssä. If you don't have an appointment to meet with Commander Dorvel, make one. She's busy. Ei periaali harniska. The Nord over there can make the appointment for you. He's not writing that God's awful poetry at the moment. And I'm looking for a posting more interesting than pushing papers for Knight Commander Jorvel, or playing politics with snooty nobles. Tell me, why should I give a key to the first peasant who comes wandering in off the lawn? <laughs> a a bribe. How unexpected. Most people I have to deal with would rather get snippy and tell the commander about how rude I am. All because I can't be arsed to be obsequious. <laughs> Refreshing. Here's a key. Try not to get killed down there. <laughs> Nils want book lover. I saw you talking to her. Isn't her voice beautiful? The stewards were no help at all. You've got a key? Wonderful. All right, let's see if we can find that fancy loot. Sir Brenville probably made it deep into the crypt. These catacombs have been built up over generations. Might be a bit twisty down here. I'm gonna show up. Can you imagine not believing in ghosts? A friend once told me that you can't swing a stick in Glen Umbra without it passing through some lost spirit. Yup, tuon tuotta. Ja epäkuolleita myös. Se on hauska paikka.
Eso es lo que no interesa. Sí, sí. I'm here with my second. We'll try to help you. Whoever you are, I was here first. You gotta hang back. Pretty hard to manage it. Hey. No one. Well, I'm hiding. I have a bit of a fear of spiders, it seems. In my defense, I made it past a bunch of the smaller ones. But I lost my nerve when a giant red-eyed beastie left out with me. Just a moment. You won't get very far without the teeth of the deep crypts, which I just happen to have. Ha! Uh -huh. Um, I tell you what. When that thing surprised me, I may have dropped my sword. Return it to me, and I'll flip you the key. What do you say? They say that Sir Brenvale died at the hands of a ghost. The old mad duke. Ugh, gives me the shivers. No, that one died. Nothing with him? Nothing with Näyttää ihan pomotappelupaikalla. Look, I think that's the loot. Oh, and that must be what remains of Sir Brenvale. I'll take your finger. Got it. Vengeance Let's get out of here. Stretcher. Love. Someone has retrieved my skill. Follow me away from this place. That ghastly mad spirit may return on all times. Combat, oh ho! And they danced with swords all night long. Love! Alas, yeah. 
Brenvale's skill was all for naught, and the quest went all wrong. Oh! And now you know the end of the tale. Oh ho! This is where I bid you adieu. Sir Brenvale, the golden boy, the boy. silver tongued, once the head of the Order of the Albatross, at your service, oh gentlefolk. Of course they did, good chaps, and of course, I was one of the Order's most renowned composers. They no doubt wished to put my beautiful gilded lute in a place of honor. Ah, yes, I'm sure when I did not return, there were many a fair damsel who wept, inconsolable tears. After all, once you hear my voice raised in song, to know the voice of Sir Brenville the Golden was silenced. The tragedy. Kyllä, tragedia. Of course, of course, I commend your efforts. Please, let the rest of the Order know that I, Sir Brenvale the Golden shall now depart this plane at last. My next performance will be in the great theaters of Aetherius. Adieu. Farewell. Farewell. Oko. Billard, I thought okay. I heard Snag yelling in the distance. He's another aspirant and a complete donkey's arse. <laughs> Never mind him. We're on a quest. So we have a bit of a leg up on this one. The elder is a wizard named Erlebrew. He's actually a friend of my father's. <laughs> he used to tell me stories when I was young. Funny little man. I would never. Stealing is, well, unknightly. Knowing Erlebrew, the Tätyy challenge muistaa, will be more about thinking and reason mitä. than magic or subterfuge. Right. If I remember correctly, I think he lives in a little grotto to the south, near the coast. He likes his privacy, our oaken elder. I suppose in the stories, knights are usually all swords and glory. But the druids have been here forever, practically. Every kid in the sisters grows up knowing a little bit about runes and nature and the true way. I think they used to be... But no, these days anyone can join. Even non-mages who want to learn the ways of Ithre. Just another little quirk of life on High Isle. Damn. Snag and Brelin all beat us here. Huh? Get huh? behind me, squires. Snag was here first. Ha! Uh, we arrived at the same time, you simpering buffoon. Well, you're still too late. A wizard's magic is no match for the strength and honor of this aspirant. For honor. Mm. All right. Seems like the direct approach won't work here. <laughs> I'm sure I can get this barrier open. Yeah. Hmm. Elder doesn't go easy on aspirants, it seems. I think the trick to this is the pillars themselves. Take a look carefully. Wouldn't not. A bird. Looks like a forest heron, perhaps. Look at that branch there. Representing Spriggins, maybe? A cat's paw. Hmm. I know exactly how to bring down the barrier. He's lifted the pillars and the symbols from a story he told me as a child. Almost exactly. A wise old sage puts up a barrier around his home. He's trying to protect a little girl he's raising from a fearsome dark night. She grows up to be a mighty warrior. But the sage makes her figure a way out of the sacred grove. Uh -huh. In the tale, the symbols on the pillars held the key. Like the cat there. 
A cat's paw is a pretty little flower that grows in shady forests. And that bird looks like a forest heron. I'd bet anything we need one of their feathers. I've seen it before. It's a druidic symbol for Spriggans. In the tale, she befriended one that lived in the grove. She wore a Spriggans veil, a wreath of leaves they shed every year. Here, if you can find the items, I'll guard our spot. You're back. Carrying feathers and branches and flowers, I hope. Looks like you found them. Just place them on the pillars there. That should lower the wards. Majestic birds. Right up until you're cleaning scat off the docks. Uh -huh. I'm pretty sure that's not how we're supposed to do this. Okay. Powerful symbolism. That did it. No. Tämä on puutarha paikka. Tämä on sinkä pimeä luolaki. Can you talk to him? I'm all. Sweaty. Oh, hello then. Figured out my barrier, did you? And is that little Izzy I see back there? Oh, yes, yes, yes. I hoped it would be her. She remembered the tale of Miriette La Courageuse, eh? <laughs> So nice you two could come out, eh? Usually it's just me and the forest spirits these days. Of course not. Solve the puzzle, take the staff. That's the idea, right? Well, it's out back leaning against the cottage. Enjoying good health, second. Off you go then, and be careful where you put that thing. That staff's like me. It might be old, but it can still zap the ears off a rabbit if you haven't. How's it going? How's it going? Oh no no no! That would be wildly inappropriate. I pulled this challenge directly from the pages of one of my favorite books. <laughs> Who can blame me? I'm a daffy old wizard. <laughs> Come here, lass. No need to dawdle near the door like you're still a squire. <laughs> Thank you, you old goat. Still thinking of me all these years later. Just need to grab that staff now, and the oaken trial is in the bag. I mean, not literally. I, I don't have a bag large enough for the staff, but you understand my point. We've got the staff. The moment I heard Earl of Rue was representing the Order, I knew we might have a shot. Well done. I am. Those stories Erlebrew told me when I was little, they're a part of why I'm in the tourney today. And I won't lie, it's nice to know he still cares about me. Strange, lovely man. Let's move on. All that's left is to present the trophies. Everyone will be gathered at the tourney pavilion. I'm excited. And nervous. I get a bit... Uncomfortable being the center of attention. Here, meet me on the jousting grounds. We'll head in together. Isabel, you've saved me. Uh, I'd better go and take my place. I promised Mother I wouldn't embarrass her. Please tell me you've good news. I saw Sir Langley stomping around in a temper. He's got a whopper of a bruise too. Yeah. I do hope my Isabel didn't punch him. She's not usually the punching sort, but he is such a, well, a ninny. I think my nerves are as settled as they're going to be. I get more anxious doing formal things like this than I do fighting werewolves. <sighs> Come on, Izzy. Deep breaths. We walk in, and the tourney herald announces us. I go forward and claim the trophies. As my second, you have the honor of displaying each of them as I call them out. Oh, and most important... Don't start laughing when I recite a poem. 
It's tradition, Stendar helped me. The Order of the Albatross requires it. Having you do this with me was more than helpful. You've been a calm and steady influence. A real partnership. Thank you. Let's just get through this last bit. Follow me. The sooner we start, the sooner it's over. Lords and ladies, men and myrrh, a knight aspirant approaches the stage. Lady Isabel Valois. Let's get things started. Proceed, madam. Your second may present any trophies you have won. Together, we found the hilt of Blade Redheart, lost in a battle long ago. This we present to the Order of the Iron Knot. Well done, aspirant Belois. To the Order of the Albatross, we present the gilded loot of Sir Brenvale. Wonderful. Now, perhaps we could hear a poem or ditty about the adventure, Aspirant. <clears throat> the loot of gold did gather mold, lost for many years. I cannot lie, Brenvale did die, tripping on a tomb. <laughs> and finally, we present the Oaken Order with the Staff of the Wild Woods. After solving the wizard Earl of the Oaken puzzle. Order commends you, Aspirant. Aspirant Velois, claiming all three trophies makes you the champion of the Sapphire Tourney. Come, you have earned a boon from your commander. From this day forward, you are a knight of High Isle. Be brave, courteous, loyal, and act with honor. Arise, Dame Isabel Velois. Lord Commander, I know what my boon will be. You may know as well. Please release Aurelia from the promise you made. Allow her to make her own choice to marry or not, as she sees fit. I cannot deny such a selfless boon. Aurelia is free to make her own choices, within reason. Oh, thank the eight. Dame Isabel, I am deeply impressed. I wish to speak with you and your second. Find me in my office at your convenience. Uh. I couldn't have done this without you. Let's see what the commander has to say before I thank you myself. I figured I'd come see who won this fancy pants affair. Your partner did well for herself. Almost as good as one of the women warriors in my clan. Huh. Tosta on nää varmaan aika avomielisiä, jos niillä on yrkki ritareitakin. Yrkit on kuitenkin siis sillai paari arrotu ihan kympillä Elder Scrollsissa. Simmer. Yrkitkin on siis haltijoita. Ollut ainakin. Sitten poetia saattu paikalla. You did well, Isabel. It seems as though your second was a great boon to you today. Second, step forward. I'd like to speak to you. I've known Isabel, Dame Isabel, for many years. It was encouraging to see her push herself like this. I believe your able assistance may have also played a part? Well, I believe a knight should not be measured by the worth of their weapon, but by the allies they keep. The Knights of High Isle pride ourselves on our courtesy, and I personally always wish to honor good people. For acting as Dame Isabel's second during this year's Sapphire Tourney, I want to formally extend my thanks, as both Knight Commander and as a mother. What a day! I suppose that just shows what determination can get you. When the tourney began, Aurelia was in the depths of despair. I was... 
well, I was struggling. And now look at us. <laughs> Thank you. Take the credit you're due. You kept me focused, gave me a sounding board. And most importantly, I knew whatever happened, I wasn't alone. I can't tell you what that meant to me. I still can't get used to it. Dame Isabel Valois. I dreamed about wearing shining armor, riding a valiant steed. So far, it's been crypts, creatures, and a lot of running around. <laughs> I've loved every moment. Except, maybe, the poetry part. <laughs> Joo, no, jokaisen meistä on kohdetta vaan basiliskinsä. Ja Runous oli tälle se pahin, pahin mahdollinen vastustaja. I've been thinking. No niin. I have a place here on High Isle. But I think I want to expand my horizons. I would like to see more. Do more. Learn more. If you could use a strong and loyal knight of High Isle in your travels, I'm up for anything. Yes. If you'll excuse me, I have to get my You're things. You're looking especially strong lately. I like it. 